Hi there, my name is Christy Kistler. I'm one of the co-founders of Thin River. I'm here with cider maker Andrew Byers, and we're here to talk about the Pro Club offerings for the Fall Cider Club. And we're going to do a little tasting. Andrew's going to give us some secrets and notes so you can enjoy these bottles at home uh, with some background and information to enjoy. Yeah. Andrew, tell us what's in the offering this fall. Thanks, Christy. Mm -hmm. Well, we try and put together a, a curated package that has some thought to it. You know, the, there's some why behind we, the things that we put together in these club offerings. And this time around, we have the kind of date club debut of the Sojourn Orchard series, and I think that's noteworthy. So we will kind of spend a little bit of time there. And I'm going to gloss over some of our more understood and more uh, accepted ciders. So in this uh, offering, we've got the Fire Barrel, uh, which is our bittersweet cider grown in the orchard right behind there and aged in whiskey barrels. It is deep, decadent, and thick. It's full-bodied. It has a lot of color to it. Um, in the context of color, that means it has a lot of tannins in it. Uh, and we can take a peek at that, and then we'll be able to compare that to two others. Fire Barrel. Aged in whiskey barrels, good oak, good strong apple spice. Okay. Moving down the line, uh, we've got a Fin River Classic that started in 2012, the uh, Habanero Cider, uh, debuting at Strange Brew, uh, and then unbelievably called back over and over and over again. I can't stop making it. Uh, with Tonemaker Hill Farms Habanero Chili Peppers infused into a contemporary American cider. Not a lot of tannins, but a really nice acid sweet balance with a good bit of heat. Okay? And you can kind of get the visual on the difference when we talk about different kinds of apples and how they represent in the cider. Slide down the line to the forest ginger, a fall favorite, with fur tips. Some of them, most of them harvested on the hills behind us. Um, harvested in the spring, infused into the cider in the fall, um, soaked with fresh ground ginger root, and that is kind of the flavor of the forest. And that's why it makes sense for the fall. It is that thoughtful notion of in between trees and in between the, the brightness of spring and the thoughtfulness of fall. <coughs> Saffron Cream is another addition from the Crew Selection line. This is the, the kind of creative innovation coming out of the Cider Hall. Uh, and this is a split off of our standard solstice saffron, infused with saffron, anise, and fennel, aged with some oak, and finished with a lactose sugar. It pushes a, a bit of funk and a bit of thickness and a bit of silk, uh, and is just a thoughtful kind of like play on something that does very well on its own. But we had the potential to play a little bit further, and we would poke and we poke. Um, the saffron cream delights me, and I hope it delights you too. And what I really want to talk about is this Sojourn Vista Ridge bottle. So this cider, pardon me, <laughs> pours beautifully. Oh, that, that um, was gorgeous. I haven't seen that yet. Wow. So the Sojourn, uh, the idea is that it's a short travel. It's our traveling cider. And so this Sojourn is coming from Vista Ridge Orchards down in Quilcene, about 20 miles to the south. I helped graft some of their trees when they first started four or five years ago, and this is their first full harvest that constituted an entire batch. And so nothing but apples from one uh, orchard on one hillside to the south of us, uh, spontaneous yeast. And so this is like a natural wine equivalent in the cider world, uh, meaning I didn't add anything. Very non-interventionalist, uh, and it's spicy, and it's full, and it's complicated, and I can't wait to see what their trees produce this year. 2019 vintage, Vista Ridge. And the geese on the label represent the sort of idea that this cider series will feature other regional orchards that Andrew has befriended. And it's like the geese flying over from uh, valley to valley and ridge to ridge, um, kind of witnessing the trees as, as they ripen. Yeah. The network. Mm -hmm. And then there's a long-awaited favorite that has yet to be bottled. And so I pulled one out of the library. Uh, this is Spirited Blackberry, back from a bit. Uh, of a break, and this is a spirited wine that is aged port style, coming in at 18.5% ABV. It is deep and thoughtful, and an ode to the summertime blackberry. I can smell it from here. Right. 
deep and rich. Yeah, it'll speak for itself. I can see the legs dripping down. It's a good bit of fruit in a bottle. If you could reach into a blackberry bramble without destroying your hands and just squeeze the sass and the sweetness out of it, that's what you'd get in this. It's one of my favorite things of all time that Finn River has fermented. Thank you, Andrew. My pleasure. Hope you all enjoy. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for being in the club. We really appreciate it.